Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a database for your 5M server. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell if you haven't already. Let's get right into it. So first, you're going to want to download XAMPP. So all you have to do is go to Google, type in like XAMPP, and here it is. All you have to do, download for whatever you have. I'll download Windows, and it'll start the download. I already have it so i won't download it again but you just run it and go through the process and then you go to heidi sql you'll go to downloads you can go here and you can click on this one and it'll download it as well and all you have to do is run that so now i will show you what it look like here is the xam control panel you'll open it up and you'll have all of these options but all you need to focus on is mysql all you need to do is hit start now you're ready to go so now you can go ahead and open idsql and we'll go ahead and make a new session and you can name it whatever you want we'll name it 5m and you have over here all the password and stuff pretty much don't need to touch anything just make sure it has this and this if you're doing a home hosted if you are running a hosted server then you will need the their ip the username the password and the port should be the same but we go ahead and open this up so i already have a es extender in here but we'll go ahead and drop this but here we go this is what it'll show up with as default is just these so all you need to do is create a new database and name it either extended mode or es extended depending on what you have so go ahead and name it es Ext es extended and as you can see there's nothing in there so usually you'll have like an sql or something so i have a few up here that i already have saved you can just run the sql and sometimes it won't there we go and it'll just pop up in here and that's all you need to do it's pretty simple pretty straightforward if this helped you out please drop a like on the video see you next time